Are you tired of worms infesting your intestines? Or maybe you don't realize that you have worms infesting your intestines. Are you sick and tired of all of that slimy mucoid plaque that's just sitting in your gut from decades of uneliminated, unnatural food substances that turn into slime in your intestines? Oh, oh, you, oh you, you didn't know that you had that in there. You, you didn't know. <laughs> well, then I have, I have some great news for you and I have a wonderful juice that will help you loosen up this waste, loosen up this mucoid plaque, eliminate this stuff out of your body once and for all, and feel 10 times better. Stay tuned. I'm Professor Spira and I practice something called the Mucusless Diet Healing System. I've done so for over 18 years and I've helped thousands of people transform their lives using the methods found in the Mucusless Diet Healing System. It is the ultimate in terms of natural healing lifestyle. All of these diets, so much of this from intermittent fasting to the keto, the ketogenic, and the paleo, and then all of these different things have nothing on the mucusless diet healing system. Man, your raw foodisms and your veganisms, they there's issues with those where they where they don't succeed. The mucusless diet healing system as a holistic process is the uh, ultimate answer for dealing with all of these things. And if you are interested in learning more about the Mucus's Diet Healing System and get five free recipes that can help you eliminate mucus from your body, then go down below, click the link, make sure you're signed up for the Insiders Club. You'll get uh, your free gifts or three PDFs that we send, also an intro to mucus-free menu planning. And you, you're going to want these gifts. If you don't have them, you also want to be a part of the newsletter. We have a lot of exciting things coming up and you want to be in the pipeline to make sure you get that information. Plug in. So today I'm going to be making one of my favorite juices and <clears throat> that's kind of, you know, when I say one of my favorite juices, I usually have a core item. So in this case it's going to be a pineapple. Now, I, I usually like to have the pineapples a little bit more ripe than this, but when, especially when I'm eating it. But when I'm juicing it, oftentimes like I, I can this this is ripe enough for me to juice, especially if I'm juicing the bottom half. These often ripen from bottom to top, so you'll see like the bottom is is golden down here, and the further up you get is where it's green. So today I'm going to be juicing probably the bottom half of this. Uh, will be the core, the pineapple juice, and I got a couple uh, oranges here, and I got been kind of getting into these raspberries and blackberries. It's very good. If I feel like cutting it with, a, with some apples, I can, but I don't have to. I got a little ginger down there. So this is going to be a good juice that starts the process of just just loosening up this stuff up, loosening this waste up, loosening up the you know we said the mugoid plaque the par the par parasites don't want to have nothing to do with this this kind of stuff the ginger the the pineapple juice it, it's going to kill a lot of that stuff and if you then follow it up with doing some enemas not immediately but you know it, before you go to bed or whenever you decide to do it lemon juice and distilled water enemas as we talk about on this channel you can find a video about that on here but if you follow up with that, then you're going to be golden. You'll be eliminating, especially during the enema sessions, you will be eliminating this slime that everybody that we know this consistently eliminates this stuff. And people still try to say, oh, it doesn't exist. There's no such thing as mucoid plaque. I mean, good luck with that, with that theory. Uh, but so... I'm not with with this bad boy here. So we got the shine juicer. I already did a video of this, and I haven't tried yet. I, I probably don't have to totally cut off the the outside, but I, I just have a habit of doing it. 
and so I still kind of cut off. And like I said, I'm sure you can tell me in the comments, but no, don't, don't cut that off. That's all the nutrition is there. It's all in the, and then, well, then you don't know our opinion of nutrition theories, but I, that's one thing that I'll, I, I don't, I don't make it perfect, but uh, when I would use a centrifuge juicer, as I did for years, you know, I always wanted to just kind of just make it as easy on the juicer as I could. So I would get rid of the skin of the pineapple because sometimes it wouldn't even, it would, it could, it would jam it. Or I mean, it would just, with the centrifuge, it was problematic. So at some point I will test this with that. But since I don't want to mess around today, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, and cut up these pieces to get them ready and again with these with these juicers coming from the centrifuge juicer I had to get used to spending a little bit more time cutting up the fruit that I am juicing because you want to make sure that it's small enough to go into the uh, the smaller neck and so I don't really have too much of a sophisticated method here of cutting. I just try to cut them as small as I can. But the uh, pineapple smells pretty, pretty good. Like I said, this was it's not not a perfect pineapple, but one of the themes I think I want to have right now on the channel is. It's not about perfection and especially so many of the people I meet, especially folks that are coming from the raw foodism and they're trying, they had tried to do the raw food diet. It's like they're trying to be so perfect with the diet. Like they, and then when they're not, when they have a transitional meal or what a lot of them call a cheat meal, they're hard on themselves about it. They're, they act like they, they had to restart that, that, that now they, they, they ate a cooked meal. Now I have to hit the restart button. It's I've ruined. And it's like, no, it's not about perfection. No, this is not perfect fruit. Everything on this table isn't necessarily perfectly organic. The apples are pineapples. Not it's not about perfection. It's about doing the best you can with what you have access to in the moment. What do you have access to? You might not be able where maybe you live somewhere you can't get a shine juicer, but you can get something else. Get that juicer. You don't have to have this. You don't have to do it just like I'm doing it. I try to teach in a way that shows you that improvisational approach to life, to the mucus's diet. I love improvisation. So there's a place for planning. But then there's also a place and a huge place for intuition and being open to develop your intuition. Some people, depending on the path that you choose in life or the paths that have initially been chosen for you, your intuitive abilities may be stronger or, or not as strong. But on the mucus's diet, regardless of where you start your intuition can uh, drastically improve and you get intuitive about what should I eat today should I do my enemas Should I do this and that and you get to a point where you don't have to think about it so often and obsess over uh, this is gonna be that one's a little big I'll cut that again and obsess over every little thing and that's something I try to get people away from is being in their head being so in your head to where you're getting so concerned about every morsel of food that you're putting in your body it's like we encourage you to deal with the principles okay understand when I say the principles when you read the mucus diet healing system book really absorb and pay attention to the principles right whatever you think is a principle write it down and have a list 
of principles, which is something we're actually we're working on. Uh, as quiet as it kept, as it's kept, we're st talking about developing an app, and that's uh, that's one of the ideas is to have a section of the principles. But do that now. Reading the Mucus's Diet book, get your principles together. But you want it to uh, to inform your practice. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these raspberries in here. I also got some blackberries. That's fun. Whoops. Ah. Okay. Got that going. So let's try to get this pineapple juice happening here. But yeah, don't be hard on yourself. Don't be, try to be perfect, try to have this perfectionism concept, like I got to have my colon perfectly clean, and, and I can always tell somebody that has that kind of mentality, and, and whenever they start talking to Brother Air, their eyes get wide because they're like, you've been doing what for how long? You've been doing lemon juice and distilled water enemas for, for almost 40 years? and you're still not clean and that's because they want to be clean today like they want to know what can you do today to have this highest level of cleanliness and it's not about today well I mean it is about it's always about right now and today but the the consciousness will let you know that it's about cleaning as much as you can today but understanding that it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while to really, for us to really get ourselves together because we've did a, done a job on ourselves. Here we go with the ginger. I don't need much ginger to get a nice pop. That's a mess. That's plenty. <laughs> That's probably too much. A little, a little gingery, gingery mood. Mm, I can smell that ginger. But yeah, don't don't be hard on yourself. Just be loving, be kind, be gentle, be understanding. Because this is a hard path. This is definitely for a lot of different reasons that we talk about on this channel. The social thing, dynamics, the the discipline that it does take, and at the same time, again, not beating yourself. If, for as much as I've, you know, don't don't have my bad days where I'm not eating perfectly like or I like I'd want I mean if I was being hard on myself I'd probably you just be depressed all the time just just over just like man I'm not good enough it's like I mean this is about I mean I, I I've always looked at practicing the mucus diet more like an adventure uh, like a survival adventure like this is a real survival kind of thing you know so I get my juice in then you know then I go out into the world and I'm dealing with with uh, you know chronically ill and mentally ill people you know that that's that's like that that have guns <laughs> that, that you got to navigate like I was like oh there has a, a pus eater with a gun let me let me you know like that's an adventure for me it's you know I'm, I'm it's like <laughs> when you live in life like that when you when you realize that this reality that you're in is, uh, I mean, this is, <laughs> I mean, video games don't have nothing on the real, just going to the supermarket when you realize what pus and mucus is about. Because that supermarket can turn, unfortunately, you can either make deadly decisions or somebody else made some deadly decisions because I think we just recently had a, had a shooting at a uh, at a uh, the at a at a store and so that's all pus and mucus eating period we talk about that all the time you would not convince me otherwise if you want to know the reason why people do what they do in terms of mass shootings rape murder look no further 
than what they are putting into their bodies. Look no further than what they are putting into their mouths. And what they have been putting into their mouths because I don't want to hear about some raw foodist that has that, that tried to become a fruitarian overnight and, and been juicing then goes crazy and goes and, and shoots up a whatever that person they they not first of all they're not practicing a mucus diet healing system they didn't transition and and I'm saying that now because it's it has I mean, I don't like being, you know, prophetic and that kind of, you know, I'm just saying there's a high probability of that happening. And when it does, they're going to blame. At that point, they'll blame the diet. They'll blame raw food diet or they'll blame, oh, this person was an extremist trying to eat nothing but fruit. Then they went and they killed a bunch of, you know, went into a school and killed a bunch of kids. It had nothing to do with the fruit. It had everything to do with a lack of transition and that, that old decaying fetid mess that was never eliminated because they probably never did any animas and so just in their gut they have all that death that's still in there they couldn't handle it the elimination was too fast and and there you go that's tra tragedy of nutrition as we like to say so let's uh let's give this an old sip and see what's what's going on here hmm So I always like to do a little, a little mix. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Very good. I probably put a little, <laughs> you know, some people love that. Like I, I don't probably put a little too much ginger. I don't really need much ginger for my taste, but, uh, but it's very, very good. <clears throat> and then that was a half a pineapple, an orange, uh, a few raspberries and blackberries and some ginger. And this is going to help you loosen up mucoid plaque, eliminate the waste, create natural immunity. When your body, you're not, you're, you will be immune to whatever it is you think you will get. When you clean yourself up, you're not, you're not going to get it, you know, or whatever that was. We had another video to talk about vi viral loads and virus theory and all that kind of stuff, we won't get into that, but if you wanna really be immune to the kind of suffering and the illness, be immune to so many diseases that even the medical establishment and the academics say may be the cause of the number one reasons people die, the heart, 50,000 people a day dying of heart disease, 25,000 people a day dying of cancers, 25,000 people a day, so on and so forth, the respiratory illnesses go on down the line, endocrine gland diseases go down the line. Not this, you know, every day where they come out and they say there's, we have a million new cases of COVID-19. Well, how many people died today? Well, we were having, yeah, but, well, but why is there's no one, you the numbers on the flu, all of a sudden, no one's dying of the flu anymore, but now it's COVID-19. We don't need to rehash all that. You guys all know this already, I think. If you've gotten this far in the video, we don't need to relitigate all of the insanity and the nonsense. But at the end of the day, whatever you believe, you should be able to agree that if, if, if health is important, if that's so important, then while you, as you buy your $30 box of face masks, you know, invest 150 bucks in a juicer. 
and juice every day. Clean yourself out. Get yourself an enema bag. Clean yourself out. As we say, hashtag clean that ass 2021. That's what it's about. Clean yourself up. Get the real immunity. Get the slime out of your gut. Feel better. Get that anxiety out. That, all that dead animal flesh. I mean, that, that's creating, it creates anxiety. And, but then what do you do to even that out and dull your senses? Now you, you go get you some alcohol. Get drunk. Dull your senses. Look at how insane that is. Consume poison to dull your senses. Why? Because you don't feel good because you're eating dead animal carcasses that has been rotting and decaying and turning into pus. <coughs> and you put it in, you cook it up, you put it in your body. Or if you're raw car, if you're doing the carnivore diet, you, uh, you eat it raw. You know, just like, you know, just like mother intended, you know, and like, like I said, I hope you carnivore folks, you know, make sure to sh sharp, sharpen your canine teeth, jump on the back of the cow, sink your teeth into its neck, kill it, and then and go for the gut first. They eat, eat the intestines and the feces in the intestines first. Uh, if you're on the carn, I'm just saying, I don't recommend that at all. I'm just saying, if you want to identify as carnivore, and uh, we have all these former vegan raw foodists that now have eat the, you know, they want to stay raw. That's how crazy the raw dogma is. It's like, raw is law, and even eating raw meat is better than having a cooked meal. To ha having some steamed broccoli or some sautéed kale with a big raw salad is is worse than than raw pig intestines. You y'all are out of your your minds. So with that, I thank you so much for <laughs> for tuning in, and uh, you know, get you, get you, get you some juice. This is. This is a hell of an investment. This is what you want to do. It's get in that habit. Get it there. Kool-Aid, what? I mean, now people still drink that stuff. I can't believe it. Because I've been, you know, sometimes I get in my little bubble. And I forget. I mean, people still drink Coca-Cola and Pepsi and Sprite and Mountain Dew. It's like, wow. That's, that's amazing. That pe people still actually drink that stuff. People still even drink coffee. I can't believe it. It's insane. That it blow, blows my mind that people still drink when you have access to this, that, and you still drinking, you know, Dr. Pepper. It's rough. <laughs> so again, I thank you so much. Go down below, click that link, make sure you're signed up for the Insiders Club. If you want to really learn how to practice the mucus's diet healing system. You want to enroll in the Mucus Diet Healing System e-course. I put a lot of years into developing this course, and we have a bunch of students that have signed, that have enrolled and graduated from the course over the years. Always just nothing but five-star reviews and uh, and great, great uh, feedback that I get uh, all the time from the from the e-course. So I really encourage you invest in yourself, invest the, the time. It's, and uh, and for what you get in the course, we, I'm keep, I'm able to keep the price super duper low. So if you're interested, like I said, th that's just for people that's really really serious about practicing the Mucus's diet and really learning what this has to offer. What why this is so different from everything else. It's uh, you you will not be sorry if you enroll. So uh, click the link down below and do that today. And before you go, I want you to check this out. This is another video. It's a very good video that we made just for you. So click right here, and I will see you over there. Peace, love, and breath.